Hi guys, welcome to the unboxing and full review of this Cowlex smartwatch with according to the listing it's a smartwatch with 1.3 inch touch screen fitness tracker step counter activity tracker with a blood oxygen monitor that's something really interesting that's something which not many smartwatches have especially not in this price range i mean we are talking about a smartwatch which is currently listed on amazon for only 52 dollars it's uh, ip68 waterproof and it's called sport watch for men and women it has some really unique features also i've seen there is some weather information usually at this price range you do not get any kind of weather information so maybe if you like that that could be something for you here we have also some information about basic function sedentary remind remote photography music control usually doesn't work i'm trying to test that incoming call alert find device stop watch here or also some further product specification even with the cpu that's really rare when they specify uh, this at this level really interesting pedometer multi sports mode heart rate and breathe training uh, sleep monitoring notification yeah not uh, a lot of special things but i'm really looking forward to test this in general this is i think a trend which is a little bit coming up here that we are going back to watches which have the norm normal conventional style not the square i mean a lot of people have the apple watch and so a lot of Chinese manufacturers have started to make it in a similar style for a couple of years. They look all like these Apple watches with this uh, square shape or rectangle shape. And now more and more of the watchmakers coming out with this normal style. And I really like that. I prefer that actually. And also another thing which is really positive. We have a normal use time of about 10 days and standby of 30 days according to the listing which is really good i mean i have this with a couple of other watches and i really like that when i don't have to charge the watch every day here we have the uh, watch band looks pretty nice I mean it's not leather but it, it has some kind of stitches here that's really interesting i've never seen uh yeah a watch coming at this price range with the watch band separated but um it definitely makes sure that you can probably buy different ones or the replacement if it breaks so let's take it out here and see what we get and uh, also regarding the charging i will be interested to see it uh, looks like it's a normal probably magnetic thing uh, usually we get some pins for the magnets looks like the magnet is just built in and uh, yeah here we have the blood sensor i guess we have to remove that it looks like it's soft but it's hard to grab it i hope i don't destroy that here yeah so looks like we really have to remove that if we want to use that properly so here's the thing and of course also there's a protection on top so here we get it uh, it's a little bit protected i mean a little bit recessed uh, this is something i really like so here i'm going to show you a little bit of the instructions as usual so here we go with the manual i hope you can see everything i'm uh, i'm not wasting too much time or i'm trying not to waste too much time that's a lot i hope you can see that if you are interested into that if you want to make better buy decision or you if you lost that or you bought used or whatever 
uh, reason why you need that so I hope you really can see that it's really difficult here so I just wanted to give you already a quick update on how to assemble everything when all my memories are still fresh so it was super easy to attach the wrist or watch band actually I, you don't need to uh, have some uh, equipment or so no pliers needed just push it uh, into one side and then hold it with your fingernail and push it on the other side into that so of course uh, this thing has to be on the right side this uh, part is down this part is up make sure these straps here are on the top where you have this uh, thing here so uh, it, it i think it it's correct to look like this but it's a normal watch i mean there's no magic with that so regarding charging there's a really strong magnet you can see uh, if i try from this side it doesn't uh, work i have to um, bring it 180 degrees down and now it really sticks you can hear that a strong stick and it will uh, more or less automatically turn on and in this case it said uh, 61 62 percent left by the way one thing with the wrist band or watch band i have to tell you i mean i was actually very pleased with the thickness i mean yeah that makes sure that it doesn't fall apart pretty fast it looks like uh, it looks good i think or i thought but the problem is that it's really uh, stiff or sturdy or uh, yeah it's difficult to move it i mean i think after time it will uh, align with your uh, arm i mean the shape of your arm but at the beginning it's so stiff that it almost hurts i mean i it felt really uncomfortable for me I have to tell you but I'm I'm not worried about that I think it will over time probably bend around the arm especially on this side you can see it's really difficult to uh, bend it around it, it it stays almost straight uh, especially in this area where it's a little bit thicker here also a little bit here so probably it needs a little bit of time a little bit a little bit of patience what I've also seen that with the wristband or watch band when you have it like this here and you close it uh, yeah at the beginning there was some almost like a wear off i've been able to remove it but i'm not sure i think there's a possibility that it wears off pretty fast i mean i'm not expecting that it will be damaged but it could be that it has some signs of wear pretty fast and strong signs of wear i mean compared to other watches like this one most uh, yeah something like this which is normal standard nothing fancy nothing special this you can wear probably for years and it will still look the same yeah this is a little bit a special design they made it look like leather and for me it looks like it will also have some signs of wear uh, which you would have like with a leather band i mean yeah if you like that maybe that's something for you so i've been wearing this watch now for almost 24 hours and this is uh, how it looks at the moment as you can see the wristband or watch band is bending a little bit around my arm but uh, not perfectly but it doesn't feel uncomfortable i have it in hole number four there are a couple of more i mean my wrist is pretty thin so if you have a yeah massive wrist uh, that could be a problem i mean i'm not saying it doesn't fit but you would have it uh, like at the end and then these straps are not doing anything so if you have it at the end but apart from that uh, it was surprisingly comfortable despite the massive band i mean it's really a massive band i've never seen something like that and uh, yeah everything is holding up nicely i think i haven't found any major like structural problem so far what i like really that i can put down the watch like flat on a surface 
and uh, because it's not possible with every watch some of the watches they have like a band which is always down and then you have something like that you have it always always like this and uh, yeah it, 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 it can be a pain to have it I mean when you want to do something or I mean it's not a total killer but this is good here this is what I like and I guess you can buy just any standard size uh, watch band uh, here and uh, yeah everything works really good everything is sturdy i haven't found anything which was uh, loose or weak or so i mean i have i had it on the whole night to test for uh, heart rate and sleep and so on and um, yeah it worked pretty good so how's my first resume here at the moment i mean i'm going into detail uh, in a short time but uh, at the moment i have to tell you that i really like it i mean it's a refreshing style it doesn't have a lot of additional functions compared to the normal cheap smart watches but it, it has definitely a total different feel with this lcd and really nice um, touch screen i mean it's total a game changer compared to normal watches let's say when we compare it to the Umidici U watch 3 which is one of my favorite watches I mean this is cheap you can get it for 25 or at least 35 dollars this is a little bit more than 50 dollars but it's a total different thing I mean not, not saying this uh, here is everything much better uh, but regarding the touch screen here it was always a little bit difficult it's small it's uh, yeah it's it's just not on this level here so i think this here this touch screen they have been uh, taking this from the uh, full android watches i mean they have been or they're still around these full android watches from some chinese manufacturers and the screen and the touch effect and everything is just so much different you have this up and down and left and right and back and so on this is really really nice the only thing is which which is a little bit strange i mean when you when we scroll here that's not bad but when we go to the detail let's go to the detail here we have a menu of different things here and this is a little bit weird when we go when we scroll up here you can see it is much faster than how we scroll we have just to, to do a little bit and then immediately it scrolls uh, yeah like the whole page that's a little bit weird apart from that scrolling and everything works pretty good you don't have to like uh, really push or something like that you just swipe a little bit and yeah screen and everything works pretty good so it almost feels like a normal uh, touch screen watch which cost maybe 200 dollars or so so i'm going to uh, set a little bit of things here so yeah by the way yeah let's start with the with the watch thing here i'm going a little bit closer so you can see everything i'm going to show you all the functions here as you can see let me start here with the uh, battery that's still at 90 percent and we are almost yeah done with 24 hours a little bit less so i think it should definitely be good for a week if you don't use it too much maybe even 10 days that's good here we have the not disturb yeah that was not the right one the not disturb like the moon is the yeah it's a little bit difficult behind the camera but this is the do not disturb it doesn't have any other function you can also activate that on the mobile app it's no no difference the good thing is when it turns off you when you press this it doesn't go back to the main menu sometimes this happens so here just the screen turns on again this is good so uh, like it, it, during the night you can activate this but still the bluetooth will still be on that's weird i mean i would love to have more like a uh, full uh, night mode here we can set the brightness brightness is really good you have a huge range of almost completely dark to super bright 
yeah that's uh, i haven't seen so so such a huge range that's good i mean here you have the tort for night that's really good if you need a uh, good li light at night here we have some sports activity which we can just start and then it uh, keeps recording everything it doesn't have built-in gps but it records everything nicely as long as you are connected to your phone uh, we can finish that here uh, yeah a, a lot of possibilities what's good here is that they have swim so usually they don't have swim and if they put swim in such a watch then we can be sure that they are really positive about that it will be waterproof and i had it not fully under water because with ip67 or 68 i'm usually not going to make full waterproof test because it's too risky i i do not recommend to use this for swimming but uh, i had a little bit yeah like actually massive water on top of that a huge splash and uh, it didn't do uh, anything nothing happened so here we have also yeah other things uh yeah the sports we have we have like a breath or breathe test so you can start that and you have a little bit of indication like for one minute or so uh, it's it's a little bit strange yeah with the umidici this breathe test uh, is a little bit more comfortable without this uh, vibration uh, yeah it's not my favorite thing but you can use that shutter for the camera of the phone then stopwatch works really good you can have this unfortunately it's not combined with a timer i would love to have it combined with a timer so this is something which is really missing here like a timer standalone timer find phone yeah it's a little bit loud but it works uh screen sleep yeah i'm changing that now yeah i have to do that here so it doesn't turn off all the time so then we have the watch faces watch faces or uh really um yeah it, it's a mixed experience so it has uh, one or two nice uh, watch faces i mean the ones are here that's the one which i'm using usually and then this this one but it doesn't have a date it just has have the like the day like it says uh friday but it doesn't give you the date so here yeah that's my thing but but you have also another one that's interesting you cannot set it up you can pick it here but you can't set it up here you have to set it up on your phone i'm going to show you that so you can you choose your own picture and set uh, some data here it's not perfect but with the with your own picture that's that's a nice thing actually uh, it's not bad and here we have a total reset and the power of i haven't used that qr code and an about that's not much version and so on so that's much better so we see the last heart rate we have the steps we have the battery we have day i mean not the day but the the date actually so here on the right side we have nice overview about steps during the whole day that's really cool so really 24 hours kilometer or kilometer or calories you can uh, change of course to miles and whatever you want this is the sleep detection and it didn't work at all i had it on the whole night and it didn't detect anything i don't know why it's really strange uh, also in the app there's nothing so i think i mean i have done the firmware update and probably there's an error so i have to report that that's not good because it has some uh, a lot of information here and there's nothing the weather is really good so it switches every day what's missing here is the current temperature so that's a little bit bad i mean you have the maximum for the current day tomorrow and the uh, day after tomorrow that's it uh, maximum minimum and weather but it's nice i mean it's rather unusual that you have something like that then you go back so you can go like a full circle here uh, you can go also down and you have the heart rate uh, when you uh, wait on the screen it starts to measure the heart rate like and then it shows you maximum minimum of, of the day it has a nice chart also the blood pressure same thing there's no button to start it starts automatically when you're more than i think two seconds on the screen same thing with the oxygen uh, measuring 
uh, same thing here so that's it yeah music i haven't been able to uh, do anything you see probably it's disconnected i don't know but i wouldn't expect too much i've tried such things i mean you can choose uh, to either uh, connect to Google or to any other sound uh, thing but uh, yeah usually these things do not work really reliable I mean at least for me here the same thing uh, again with sport and shutter and so on nothing else and then back to the main screen so I think we had everything no we didn't have we, we, yeah here some uh, messaging yeah I have tried the uh, messaging and the good thing is I mean there's a pretty large screen there's a lot here sometimes you have several several lines here I don't know if you can click on that yeah here you can see that there's a lot I mean compared to a watch here where, where you can see maybe uh, two or three words maybe yeah not even one sentence I mean yeah here maximum maybe four, five words or something like that which you see usually on these watches here I mean here if you have good eyes and you can see a lot uh, yeah there's there's a lot a whole sentence or two sentences you can read but you cannot just delete one so you can see there is nothing I can I cannot uh, do anything with that not reply i cannot of course not reply but I, I i can't if i get like 10 messages like this i cannot delete uh, single ones so the only thing which you have is to go back and then say clear all that's the only thing which you have that's a little bit disappointing but apart from that really good i mean the heart rate looks like it takes a little bit long maybe longer than here to measure here measure measurement is really fast here takes a little bit longer but looks like compared to other watches it makes sense so it looks like pretty accurate and it's nice to have this oxygen meter so so overall yeah it's it's really regarding the functions it's not the greatest watch but uh, but it's really really refreshing the whole style the whole look the whole feel with this nice touch screen i mean this this screen is something it's a total game changer compared to something like this i can tell you that's that's really awesome and i i i, I really like that i mean i love this thing i had it on already the whole night it, it woke me up in the morning uh, exactly at the time which i set on the app now i'm going to show you the app again with the app it's really important to make sure that it's always active and it starts also in the morning when you start your phone that it really uh, starts it's always active so this caused most of the problems when it's not uh, permanently active of course it will consume a little bit of battery but if you want to you really use that you have to have it so the good thing is when you I mean you can download the app really from the store you don't have to download it from their website uh, even when you're using a QR code you, it, it, it just refers uh, you to their website but when you click again it brings you to the app store normal like Google or iOS as app store so here we have the thing and the good thing is you don't have to register with an account you don't have to register with your email or so i mean you can but you don't have to you can just click on like uh, proceed to the app so here we have some settings you can see here like the steps you can have them from all the last days and so on and we have i mean i'm not an expert now it's just my first day uh workouts you can check your workouts what you had from uh, specific days and uh, the heart rate same thing you can see it's very detailed so i think it's measuring a lot i mean not only like uh, only every hour a lot of these cheap uh, watches i mean this is a better one but a lot of similar watches they just measure once per hour here it's obviously much much more that's really good but you don't have a weekly i haven't seen a weekly overview but it looks like it's really reliable at least for the day then we have the sleep which you can see there's nothing here unfortunately really total uh, miss and the blood pressure we can see uh, yeah i mean 
blood pressure and oxygen uh, is not measuring constantly like all the time not like the heart uh, heart rate like heart beats uh, which you can set in the app that it's measured all the time here with the blood pressure it's just the specific times when you have measured it it will be listed same thing with the uh, blood oxygen it's just listed here I mean you can go back to different days and so on I think yeah you have different days but uh, it will just uh, show you when you have been uh, measuring like you can say start testing and then it will start here or you can start it here no problem but uh, then you will have just a list it's not a permanent or like a it, it's not a, like a constant reading so with workout you can start a new workout and start go say go and then it will record everything and it will show it on the map and it will also start it here that's uh, really nice you can click on the map and I think you have to long press you can stop it here or you can stop it here that's pretty good so uh, then we have the device a lot uh, there are a lot of settings here yeah the bad thing is there are not many settings here you have seen them most of the settings you have to make here also the detailed watch face where you can set like uh, yeah you can set a time position above time below time you can do then like the date and the heart rate and so on you can configure your own uh, watch face a little bit apart from these tools which you cannot uh, edit at all so but it, it, it's not perfect it's just very simple then uh, yeah show incoming calls then app alerts it will show you all the installed apps and ask you if you want to uh, get alerts on everyone yeah yeah so here we have the list and you can set for all activate or deactivate for everything then we have the alarm you can do up to probably yeah five five alarms maximum five alarms i have set three of them and you can say what time and which days and repeat or not that's good so idle alert uh, goal notifications music control you yeah, have connected to spotify obviously didn't work maybe if i would try around would maybe work drinking alert time format 12 hour 24 hours i uh, find the band and you can find the uh, watch from here or the band from here so you can both uh, find each other that's good not disturbed that's the same thing as with the watch i guess then palm bright screen on or off the good thing is you can limit this to a certain time so i have it so just during the day and not during the night so if i move around in my bed during the sleep it won't turn on that's a good thing and then automatic heart rate detection it's just an on or off but you cannot select other things like blood pressure or oxygen that's uh yeah bad yeah i mean bad yeah <laughs> something missing and then in the profile yeah goal unit settings about map i have chosen google map third party access that's just uh, google fit yeah that's a good thing you can connect it to google fit that's really good that's not that's something which you cannot do with every watch so there are a lot of positive things not many really negative things at least i mean there are quite some but you the, most of them are really minor issues i mean one of them is also when you touch the screen it doesn't turn on there are many of these watches i would say maybe 30 percent of these watches when you touch it it they turn on you don't have to like push here or just with, uh, work with the wrist and move it around so yeah sometimes you have really three options here you just have two options so my final conclusion is really uh, actually a full by recommendation it's so nice it makes so much fun it's so sturdy and i think it will last for a long time so I'll definitely put down the link to the amazon listing down into the description so you can check it out and order it right from there if you 
like it it's just one thing if you buy this and you get this and you set it up with the app and you go to the profile i think or to the uh here and make the firmware upgrade before you add or before you do all the settings and so on make uh, the first thing which you make has to be the firmware upgrade because if you set everything up and then make the firmware upgrade it will almost everything delete i have done this and it deleted all my alarms and all, almost all the settings so just go here and make the firmware upgrade it takes a couple of minutes but it, it it's not just such a problem but it's a huge advantage when you make this first so yeah that's it for now i hope i've been able to help you a little bit with that if you have any questions or comments just write to the comment section below i'm always happy to talk about these things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching and see you next time